<sighs> All right. I know it's been about, I don't know, if, about like a year probably since I made my last video. So uh, let's get back into it. Let's see uh, what's going on. Uh, what's the newest thing with YouTube right now? <laughs> Oh dear God! What is up, Internet? It's yo boy Austin Wondorski. Thank you for welcoming me back to the party, the YouTube party that is. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? So YouTube has made a really brash change to its uh, new algorithm when it comes to uh, giving you uh, money for the content that you make. Um, uh, now, um, because of uh, well, this video, um, this is happening. So, uh, that's very, uh, that's very fun, um, because, I mean, I have, uh, enough subscribers to, uh, pass it up, but now, um, you have to have at least 4,000 video hours viewed in a year, and I have a few thousand minutes. That's, uh, th we're doing good, guys. I know I, uh, I haven't been back on YouTube for a, a long time, and I decided, you know, I might as well come back into YouTube, you know, as everything is getting nitty gritty. So I decided, hey, let's let's come back and let's, uh, I, I'd like to make some videos on these controversies that are going on, especially on the Paul brothers, because they have a lot of stuff that's going on with them. If you guys haven't heard, if it hasn't been milked enough, basically I'm just using this as an excuse uh, to put Logan Paul in my video title. But isn't that what everybody does? Everybody wants the money, so we might as well uh, do whatever we can to get that money. So I decided, yeah, let's uh, get back into YouTube and start off with this controversy. Now, if you've been living under a rock, which I assume most of you guys are not, Logan Paul got into a lot of trouble for uh, posting a video of a dead body and a Japanese suicide forest. Everybody's been talking about this for the past two and a half weeks almost. He uploaded that on the last day of the year last year and it was taken down I think the second so like two days later. Somebody flagged it for review to YouTube and YouTube was like oh yeah that's okay like you know what what are we gonna do it's Logan Paul like this video is okay. And then after a lot of heat that Logan got on uh, the internet, uh, he decided to manually take it down. So the video itself was not actually, it, it wasn't taken down by YouTube. YouTube couldn't fathom the fact that their golden boy, Logan Paul, messed up on YouTube. Especially by such a big margin, by posting a video of a dead body. Not even like saying, guys, we found a dead body, we're not going to show it to you or anything, but like, we found one over here and we're going to like leave and call the authorities. Like, then it'd be like, okay dude, like, that sucks, but like, you know, you did the right thing. But instead he decided, yeah, let's put him in the thumbnail and like, exploit him for views. You see, with a controversy like this, he had the video demonetized, so he wasn't making any money off of, you know, the dead person. But that's still getting traction to his YouTube channel. So people that hadn't heard of him before can say, wow, that kind of sucks. Oh, here's some recommended videos that he's done. Let me go click on those and give him money that way. So now this whole controversy really brought out a big conversation on YouTube and YouTube uh, finally released a statement on um, their uh, golden boy. So this is what their thread started off with. An open letter to our community. Many of you have been frustrated with our lack of communication recently. Really, you're right to be. You deserve to know what's going on. Like many others, we were upset by the video that was shared last week. Suicide is not a joke, nor should it ever be a driving force for views. As Anna Akana put it perfectly, that body was a person someone loved. You do not walk into a suicide forest with a camera and claim mental health awareness. We expect more of the creators who build their community on YouTube, as we're sure you do too. The channel violated our community guidelines, we acted accordingly, and we are looking at further consequences. It's taken us a long time to respond, but we've been listening to everything you've been saying. I'm sure you really have, YouTube. We know that the actions of one creator can affect the entire community, so we'll have more time to share soon on steps we're taking to ensure a video like this is never circulated again. So you noticed in that tweet, they never said, you know, the Logan Paul name. They just kind of said, that creator and you know, kind of downplayed it because we all know who he's obviously talking about. It has, you know, they say dead body and stuff in it. So everybody knows exactly who they're talking about. So after YouTube finally condemned Logan Paul on Twitter, they 
actually did something about it. They decided to remove Logan Paul from their top tier Google ad platform and uh, halted his uh, YouTube Red project. A YouTube representative uh, then went on to say, in light of recent events, we have decided to remove Logan Paul's channel from Google Preferred. Additionally, we will not feature Logan in season four of Foursome and his new originals are on hold. So they actually did something about him, which is, uh, which is v very nice to hear instead of uh, eight days of radio silence from YouTube itself. So I'm sure that you noticed on YouTube's last tweet of their thread condemning Paul, um, they said, It's taken us a long time to respond, but we've been listening to everything you've been saying. We know that the actions of one creator can affect the entire community, so we'll have more to share soon on steps we're taking to ensure a video like this is never circulated again. Now the thing that really, you know, had people like you know, confused and stuff was their last sentence where it said, um, we'll have more to share soon on steps we're taking to ensure a video like this is never circulated again. So a lot of people were thinking, oh no, they're going to redo monetization. Well, they did exactly that. YouTube is tightening the rules around its partner program and raising the requirements that a channel or creator must meet in order to monetize videos. Effective immediately, to apply for monetization and have ads attached to videos, creators must have tallied 4,000 hours of overall watch time on their channel within the past 12 months and have at least 1,000 subscribers. YouTube will enforce the new eligibility policy for all existing channels as of February 20th, meaning that channels that fail to meet the threshold will no longer be able to take income from ads. So I've been on YouTube for almost 10 years. This account has been here for about nine, uh, eight and a half years. It's been a long time that I've had this account. And I didn't really post anything. I posted, you know, short little stupid clips or whatever. So I'm sure you can see down below. I have almost 3,000 subscribers, which by the way, if you want to hit us up to 3,000, go ahead and hit that sub button down below. So I have not been uploading on this channel in a long time. I finally decided, you know what, let's get back into that YouTube grind. But as you can see, I have over... 2,000 subscribers. I have really close to 3,000. Since I have not been uploading in a long time, I nowhere near meet the requirement for 4,000 hours of overall watch time in the past 12 months. I have almost 3 million total video views and almost 3,000 subscribers, but because I do not meet that 4,000 hours of overall watch time, I'm going to have all my new videos after uh, February 20th demonetized it's still recording thank God I was gonna die if it wasn't so basically this is the small channel killer this new YouTube rule all the big youtubers will be they'll they'll be fine like they'll be protected but if you aren't making that 4,000 hours a year watch time you're not gonna be making any more money on YouTube now at the time I, like right now I'm unemployed and I was thinking yeah I'll get back into uh, you know YouTubing and maybe I can you know make a few pennies or whatever but apparently that's uh, not gonna be happening anymore so I guess I'll just be trying to do it for fun uh, try to get my name out there um, and try to get my uh, hours boosted but until then I'm not gonna be making a single penny off of this th off of this gig this new rule came out today and I didn't even think that this would be the new rule that would be coming out but it, it just came out of nowhere uh, before it was you had to have 10,000 views and then you could monetize after I think that was after the PewDiePie thing um, but now they're just destroying small creators. So I feel like in the future, maybe a few weeks or a month, maybe uh, they'll take this rule down and maybe uh, bring that uh, number from like 10,000 up to like 25,000 or 50,000, which 50,000, I'd be, I'd be okay with that. That makes sense. But it's, it's the big YouTubers that are, that are the problem. Like the small YouTubers aren't showing dead bodies. I'm sure there are some and they rightfully should be taken down. But since they're since Logan Paul's their golden boy, he's being taken away from the rest of their uh, the preferred ad program. But he's still going to be able to monetize his videos. He just won't be making as much money. Before it was basically like he had like preferential treatment, so like he could do no wrong. If somebody flagged his video, they'll be like, oh yeah, it's okay. It's it's Logan Paul. He knows what he's doing. But he shows a dead body in his video, and so he took they took him away from the preferential treatment. But this is like. This is the same thing with the, the PewDiePie controversy. Like, it's just, it's destroying everybody else. Like, sure, it messes them up, but everybody else in the community is getting a knock because of the actions of one YouTuber. If Logan Paul had not made this video, we it, it's 
everything would have been fine. Like YouTube wouldn't have worried about changing the monetization system, but now they're going to destroy new YouTubers and basically monopolize all the YouTubers that are already here and making a bunch of money. They're going to keep making a bunch more money while all the other ones, they can't compete and they can't, you know, get their name out and make the money. But now they're not going to be making that money. And if they need to, you know, make money, uh, say for like me, you know, I, I have to pay like gas and car insurance and stuff. I, I have to go find a job now, which, you know, th that's fine. But then if I wanted to, you know, make YouTube my career and try to see if I could do it, you know, and, and build myself up and make money off of just this, I can't do that because now I have to go get a job to pay off my bills. And so I don't have the time to work it out. L let's say you got 500 subscribers in a month. You're like, dude, I, you know, this is booming. Like I'm getting it good. Y you either quit your job, which I don't recommend you do, but you, you do that. And you're like, I think that I can do this. Like my, my analytics are showing that I'm going up and that I, I really feel like I could probably do this. Like you can't. And you're like, well, I already quit my job. I can't go back to that job that I had. And YouTube was going to be my career. But now YouTube is just going to, you know, crap on you and say, sorry, dude, Logan Paul messed it up for everybody. What a rant. So after YouTube kicked us in the nuts and said, hey, you have less than a thousand subscribers, you're not going to be making any more money. They also said, we're going to add more human vetting into YouTube, which is something that I definitely think should be uh, brought into the YouTube community. So now all the Google preferred ad accounts are going to have to upload their videos and then a human will vet the video and it will not have any ads on that video unless Google says that it's okay. So that means that uh, YouTube's gonna have to go totally to family friendly PG clean. Well, I feel like that's about it uh, for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I know that this has been a topic that has really been blown up in the past uh, few weeks and I apologize for that and finally making a video on it and stuff, but I decided to weigh in and now YouTube came out with their new system and I decided I should probably talk about it uh, coming back into YouTube and get, you know, that small YouTuber perspective because I, I'm not going to be making any money off of ads, you know, by the end of February. But thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and click like down there let's try to get this up to 20 likes i feel like 20 likes is a good goal and uh let's try to get up to 3,000 subscribers um go ahead and click that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video i'm going to try to start posting every now and then hopefully maybe two videos a week would be my goal at least that if not i can i would like to do more um but thank you very much for watching it means a lot to me and i'll see you guys in the next time peace